Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry it was quiet last week. What we aim to do with the channel is to put videos out weekly, but uh, last week was a bit was a bit mental. So when you're in the trade, obviously things can happen and you have to down tools and just get on with what's in front of you, which is what we had to do. So we didn't really have time to, to do much. There has been some big changes, however, which I am going to document in the channel, which will be will become very, very exciting if you just bear with us for that. Um, I'm not going to do a reveal just yet because the car isn't quite ready. Um, but last week, myself and obviously Dave, who's part of the fold at SVP, were offered something we thought was phenomenal. And it was an opportunity that was kind of too hard to miss. So we pulled the trigger. And to be honest, the what we've bought, obviously another car, hey presto, surprise, surprise, um, was quite an expensive car that we weren't, again, we weren't expecting it whatsoever. It just happened and we had to move quickly as we were going to miss it. So it is behind me on the ramp there but obviously I'm sorry to tease you're not going to see it just yet but all will be revealed in the next coming weeks um, obviously you'll know if you look further down the channel Dave has an absolutely outstanding V8 M3 uh, LE500 which we did a, a nice little video on uh, again go and have a look at that if you haven't come to the channel before it is in the videos listed um, Dave's very attached to that car not wanting to get rid of it just yet however with me uh, I had to make some changes in terms of funds so I had to release some funds to make a move on this new car, which unfortunately uh, I'm not best pleased about. I'm a little bit upset, but the 200 track car has had to make way. Yes, we have just finished it. Uh, it is very, very unfortunate, but we were offered the right money for the 200. There was a couple of people wanting to buy it when we finished it. So we did speak to those guys and the 200 uh, left yesterday afternoon. We're on Monday a day, left Sunday. A uh, chap from down south sport who just wants to do track days in it. Uh, messaged me when he was home and said, thanks very much, but he's half deaf. So that was quite funny, um, but you will see that around the tracks in the UK, obviously the plate, uh, you're not going to miss that, nor the wheels. So if you do see that car, uh, give the chap a holler, quite a nice guy bought it. And what I've had to do is, I've got track days booked, which unfortunately I paid for and I, and I can't cancel, I don't want to miss. So I've had to basically get a stopgap, um, which is what I'm going to do a little video on today. Uh, the stopgap that I've got basically came in a sale or return from a client of ours who was uh, not liquidating his collection but was wanting to get rid of a few cars. He basically messes about with loads of stuff. The guy's got loads of money um, and chucked a couple of cars into us last week. One was a um, compact uh, BMW full race car with a 328i in and the other one is the one that I'm going to show you today. Uh, basically what I've done is sold the Clio. Um, I don't mind telling, obviously I thought it was cheap. We took uh, 7500 for the Clio and then I've basically went and found something for half the money. The car that I'm going to show you today, uh, the EP3 Type R track car, is one that came from that chap sale or return. Uh, I discussed obviously my situation with the new car not being ready and missing track days. Worked out a really good price for it. I don't mind telling you, I'll tell you the price in just a moment. And uh, I'll show you around the car. It's quite a good spec. And uh, we'll give you a look at it. But it's basically a black EP3 Type R. Hello. As you can see, I've got me, me little apprentice with us today. Say hello. Hi. This is my little daughter, Elise, who is wanting to do some chores today. And what have you asked Dad for? What do you want to do chores for? Tell everybody. Come on, tell everybody. What do you want money for? If you look at that top, it's a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> what was it for? Roblox. Roblox money. So I've got my little apprentice here with us today, uh, washing cars for Roblox money. So um, everybody who's just new at the channel, this is my beautiful little daughter, Elise. And she's going to be part of the, the work today and help us with the car. So we'll get on with it, Elise. Eh? But we'll show you the EP3 anyway. So that's the car in question, uh, a little bit of slave labour going in, and I keep the deer. So a little Elise, the, the detailer, say hello. <laughs> she's cracking on driving the car. She's honestly, she's a little treasure, my little girl, Mint. Absolutely no bother. Uh, K20 EP3, Night Off Black facelift. Uh, it's quite a bonny car. Obviously, the wheels are ugly, but as we know from previous videos, I'm accustomed to a set of ugly wheels, I don't mind them. NS2R semi slicks. We've got PBS pads in there, front and rear. We've got braided lines to fit, which are in the boot, which we're going to do. It has a six-point bolt-in SW Motorsports cage, OMP seat. We have seat belt harnesses. Now, I personally, it's got a little OMP wheel. Personally, don't like that wheel. I think it's too small for track days. I'd maybe like to change that and put a bigger wheel on it. Obviously the EP3s, as you just know, rot boxes, but this one, the shell, is actually really good, so I'm happy with the condition of that. There's the braided lines, which are going to be fitted up before the track day, and we'll put fresh fluid through that as well. SW Motorsports Cage, SW are a very good company, and they make some quality stuff, so 
that's the cage. The little seat that we've got, that needs adjustment because obviously as you can see from the position it's sitting very, very high and also very, very straight. I like a slight bit of lean on, ju just ever so, ever so slightly face back over so I'm going to change the position of that. Um, under the bonnet, we've got some nice bits under there as well. In terms of power, it's pretty much a standard car at the moment. Um, the battery was goosed when we got it. So we've put a new battery on this morning, obviously there's the old one which is dead. I'm not surprised, it's a lion battery, they're absolutely horrific. Uh, k and Typhoon intake, not the best intake for an EB3, that will heat soak as it gets hot in the base, so it is what it is, I'm not going to change that. MGC full water hose kit silicone, which will be helpful, it means we shouldn't split any pipes on track. We've got a rated engine mounts, which is a nice touch. Uh, Raceland coilovers, the coilovers are budget, I would never ever put a set of Racelands on a car, but that's what they came with and I don't think I'm going to bother changing those. Uh, things to do for us, so uh, basically the manifold is quite badly blown. Um, so we've got to change the manifold. It's blown at the donut gasket, but the Jap speed stainless manifolds, again, this is just a budget car. We're not going crazy with it. We need to keep it in the money. Um, the Jap speed manifolds are 280 pound off eBay. And the good thing is for us, which is a massive plus point, this might sound sad, it's one of the reasons I bought it. It's still got the standard Honda Cat on there. Obviously, the standard Honda Cats are worth about £750 at the moment. So my plan is buy a Jab Speed Manifold for £250 and fit that up. Um, there is a new ECU came out called Honda Vert, which is cheaper than K100. So we're going to Honda Vert ECU it, chuck the manifold on, and then we're going to go and see a local guy called Keel Priestman, who has a rolling road just down the road from us, and we're going to get Keel to tune the car as well. ECU is getting sent off today, um, and we maybe should be looking with a setup on the car. It won't make mental power. It'll be about 225, 230, I think, something around that. And it should be, it should be quite fun. Um, with regards to the car itself, obviously I don't mind revealing costs. I only bought it because it was a bargain. Uh, the EP3 cost us £3,000 in its current condition. And obviously with the cat still being on there, it's going to cost us absolutely nothing to operate the manifold and tune the car, which for us is a, it's, it's, it's a great plus point. So we'll get the car cleaned up and then I'll give you a walk around the car once it's uh, cleaned a little bit better. It's covered in stone chips. It's got little scratches here and there. It's a typical track car. It still looks tidy on the eye, but it's not, it's not mint. It never will be at that kind of money anyway. The paint's covered in swirls. We're not going to machine it or get too deep into that. We just need the car to perform and do what it's supposed to do. All the way around, that's it. Can't you see that I'm doing that? All right, Jesus. What's this for? Just for the YouTube. Show everybody how good you are. Yeah, it's good, man. Come on. Have we got a nice even layer all the way around, do we think? Yeah. 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 I'm happy with that. We are inside of said cockpit on the EP3 Type R track bill. And as you can see, we now have the ECU back. So, uh, big thumbs up to Danny Egan, self-confessed Honda Nut, looked after us over this week. Um, we've been quite busy and I found it quite difficult to get away, so uh, Danny voluntarily came down and picked the ECU up from us, took it up to the chap who does Honda Vert. The guy who actually does these Honda Vert ECUs, which I didn't know, is actually only up in Newcastle, so he's about 20 minutes away from me. So Danny's took the ECU away. We've had the Honda Vert circuit board, obviously hardwired to the ECU. And we're now running the base map. So Danny loaded the base map for yesterday. So the car is now running back off its key. We've demobilized this ECU. It saves messing about code and keys and everything. It means it just plugs in and works. And hey, presto, when the base file was loaded to it yesterday, a first flick of the key and she fired away. So at the end of the day, you know the crap with these Hondas. You get abused. The K20 engine has stood the test of time. For me, it's probably the strongest engine of, of kind of modernish times. These take so much abuse and they are built very, very well. Um, I'm sure if you're into Hondas, you already know these things. But uh, we've done a compression test with this car. Shows very, very good compression against, uh, sorry, across all four cylinders. So we're going to have no issues. Um, it should be fit as fire. The guy who built this car and put all the bits in actually only did one track day and then stood it up. So all the bits on the car as well are fresh as in they haven't seen too much abuse. Obviously, they will see a hell of a lot of abuse very, very soon, but we need the ECU mapping first. So what we're going to do is, obviously, the base file is loaded onto there now. Um, it's running very rich. Uh, Danny's a bit of a hooligan, was trying to load pops and bangs yesterday, but we weren't having that, so 
it's just a stock file at the moment to get us running and then uh, Kale's going to work his, his magic for us so um, at the next point of the actual video itself we should see this car either on the way to Kale's or get mapped but we, we close guys we're not too far away uh, waiting for Dave to come in today it's Saturday it's very very cold in here as well um, we're going to get Dave to crack on and fit the manifold obviously this engine will have seen it's got 130,000 miles on this car so it'll have seen some abuse over its time same as any Honda uh, we're just hoping that the head studs don't snap when we try and extract the old manifold and put the new one in um, But we'll do some videos of Dave installing the manifold I'm sure he's looking forward to that job because I'm, I'm, I'm damn sure I wouldn't be I am not capable enough to fit manifolds um, As I've said before in previous videos The mechanical side of things, i.e. getting involved with spanners just is not my thing It's not something I've ever been very good at So uh, Dave is the man for these kind of jobs and he's very very good at it so that's the end of this clip, ECU back, thumbs up, buzzing, getting there with it now, we're not too far away, uh, next clips will be uh, Davy Boy getting involved with this manifold. So the first thing to come out of the Honda is the ECU, obviously the way you tune these ECUs, obviously four screws in the back, take them screws out and then we're going to send it away to get our uh, board soldered in, so you basically get um, this Honda Vert ECU board kind of sold it in so it works as far as I know anyway apparently and then uh, what we'll do is we'll obviously build this video up I'll not release it straight away but I'll build this up over a couple of weeks uh, so the next thing obviously you'll see is the ECU back and we'll show you the board in it and uh, we'll get it down to Kiel Priestman and get uh, Kiel to tune the car and we'll, uh, we'll see what it does uh, package arrived this morning another useful part to the budget EB3 is Yeah, jab speed manifold now I'm not going to kid anybody it's jab speed it is a budget item this um, but that fits for the car these are decent enough um, the one we've had on the last cars last us about three years before we had any problems with it sometimes the flexes go off the time but genuinely for what these cost so this one we got on trade um, and I think it was it was £240 it was so Actually, realistically, see if I can rip that plastic, which I can't. But you get the idea. Obviously, for the money, that just gets rid of the cat so we can pull a little bit of power out of it. And obviously, as you know from the previous uh, slides on the video, we are going to cash the cat in to make way for the money for the ECU and this manifold. So, quite a nice bit of kit. Um, that'll look decent enough when it's on. It will help with breathe a little bit. Again, we're not talking about, like expensive gear obviously it comes with a like a fitting kit it comes with the gaskets and stuff so obviously that bolts to the head and that'll be the smaller one will be the flange at the bottom so quite looking forward to getting that one on but yeah that should free up a little bit more power for us i think just thinking i think what i'll do is i think i'll draw close to the first bit of this e3 building and kind of a look at the car at this point and the reason i'm going to do that is because i'm guessing a lot of people fit these manifolds or wonder how to fit them so Maybe a, a next video will roll into a fitment guide of the EP3 manifold. I just think that'll be a little bit more helpful for people rather than rolling into one video. And obviously, I'll title the manifold video differently so people can find it if they're searching on YouTube. So, yes, that's the first part of the EP3 build. I'm guessing this video I'm going to try and build into three, maybe four parts. Obviously, we'll put the map in as a part of it. And then we'll put the first track day, which is March the 21st, part of it as well. And I'll build it into like a, a mini series. So if anybody's interested in EP3 track cars, you can see it obviously as we've gone through the, not, I won't say a build, we haven't had to build the car, but we'll, through the preparation, should we save the car. Um, obviously, we've got the braided lines to go on, as I mentioned earlier on in the video. Um, we'll do a little video on the braided lines and the mechanicals of it, and then we'll dedicate a full video to the mapping session um, down at Kale Priestman's down the road, um, and obviously give Kale a little bit of coverage and exposure. Uh, if anybody wants to have the car mapped, um, whether it be up and down the country or just in the northeast, I can quite happily pass Kale's details on. Uh, a little bit of background into Kale. Kale does a lot of drag racing. Um, and builds very very quick quarter mile Honda, so he knows what he's doing we're confident in his work if anybody wants to hook up a connection to Kale, i'm more than happy to pass it on the guy's been good to us 